Hello YouTube! In any relationship it's just impossible not to get influenced by your partner at least in some ways and honestly there's nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine if you realize that for the sake of continuing your relationship you should change something about yourself and your habits. However, whenever one partner begins pressuring the other, demanding certain serious changes, that's when it can become a huge problem. So how to distinguish between a healthy desire to improve yourself and a forced, almost sacrificial change under someone's pressure? The there are situations in which you should seriously question yourself whether you actually need to change or not. In this video we will cover 5 most common situations like that. Number 1. When you are asked to cut your ties with someone you deem important. Throughout our lives, by the time we begin building up a romantic relationship, typically we already have a certain amount of people important to us our relatives, friends, acquaintances and so on. What you should always keep in mind is that these people are the ones you will be left with should this romantic relationship go wrong in some way. I mean, let's be honest, you probably won't be getting much support from your partner after a breakup, right? It will be your friends and family who will be helping you get over it. That's why it's very important to never reject your close people for the sake of your love interests. Make no mistake, even the biggest love in the world isn't worth cutting off the people you've known for years who've always tried to support you and played an important role in your life so far. On top of that, a person that truly loves and respects you will never ask you to deliberately damage your relationship with those you consider important. On the contrary, they will try to become a part of your family rather than forcing you to get rid of it. So if you are actually being asked to break your bond with a person who plays an important role in your life, you definitely should take a closer look at your romantic relationship because it's most likely a toxic one. Number two is when you are forced to make a choice like either me or this thing you like to do, your call. If you think that such threats are something unrealistic, more like a line from a shitty drama movies and that they don't really happen in real life, well, congratulations, your relationship is most likely fine. But rest assured, our example is by far not the worst you could hear. A tantrum, a blackmail, a breakup, ugh, it's better really not to think about it too much. And if you're one of those unlucky people who get to deal with any of it, well, we can only sympathize and wish you the best of luck. And of course, to suggest you to stop investing in a relationship with someone who constantly forces you to make difficult choices and to sacrifice the things you like for the sake of your partner's ego. Situation number three is when your partner masks their disapproval of your interests and hobbies by criticizing your personality traits. For instance, your partner finds it annoying that you spend most of your free time on your hobby rather than on interactions with them. In this case, having composed a sound pretension, they might convince you that it's a certain traits of your personality that are damaging your relationship. However, that's often just a substitution of concepts or, in other words, a manipulation. Let's imagine that you spend a few evenings a week at a gym getting in a better shape. Meanwhile, your partner has completely different plans for your free time and so attempting to change the situation in their favor, they might tell you that you are getting too carried away with your hobby and that you put it above the relationship, not really caring about them and so on. In this case, you are likely to be asked to change something about your attitude, but prior to doing anything, better try to figure out the true motives of your loved one. Sometimes it's not really about your personality at all, they just don't like what you do. The next possible situation is when you are asked to change not for your own sake, but for someone or something else. A relationship is in any case just a temporary interaction with another person. The only optional parameter is the duration of it. Certain couples manage to last only a few weeks or months, while others manage to preserve their love for each other for decades until one of them passes away. The only person you are ever guaranteed to always have throughout your entire life is yourself. A person that can evaluate themselves correctly understands that it's impossible to forcibly change someone else without causing some damage. However, they can direct themselves to change for the better, thus inspiring their partner to do the same. In other words, a healthy relationship is about accepting your partner as they are, while at the same time not trying to suppress your own personality. Some psychologists believe that it's only worth to change for your own sake and never for another person if you want the change to affect you in a good way. And the final situation we'd like to mention today is when your partner is trying to make you perfect. Again, a healthy relationship is about accepting all the traits of a person, both the positives and the negatives. It's also about accepting the fact that some of your beliefs and values won't necessarily match. 
Love shouldn't be flexible nor sacrificial, contrary to what your partner might be trying to make you believe. A person that truly loves you will also love your flaws because perfect people just don't exist. A reason to worry is a situation in which you realize that they are expecting you to be perfect. Never being late, always funny, satisfied, looking good, chatty, yada yada yada. Just be careful with relationship in which they are constantly trying to edit you in one way or another. And that's it for today, if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, please don't forget to press the like button, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to also subscribe. Have a good day, and as always, stay red-pilled.